Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit your, their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today, the Nashville Predators took on the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, the series is 2-1. All right, shots on goal in the first period. Nashville outshot Vancouver nine to eight. In the second period, Nashville outshot Vancouver ten to five. In the third period, Nashville outshot Vancouver eleven to six. And in total, Nashville outshoots Vancouver thirty to twenty. Vancouver was better in the faceoff circle at fifty five point six percent to Nashville's forty four point four percent. Vancouver went 0 for 2 on the power play with 6 penalty minutes, and Nashville went 0 for 2 on the power play with 6 penalty minutes as well. Vancouver out hit Nashville 35 to 31. Vancouver out blocked Nashville uh, 12 to 10. Nashville had 8 giveaways to Vancouver 6, and Nashville had 11 takeaways to Vancouver's 5. Scoring in the first period at the 255 mark for Vancouver was Brock Besser scoring his second of the playoffs, assisted by Miller, his third of the playoffs, and Susie, his first. Uh, then at the 534 mark for Nashville, Mark Jankowski gets us on the board with his first of the playoffs and first career playoff goal. Assisted by Lazan, his first, and Carrier, his second. That's and, also Lazan's first playoff point. Happy birthday, by the way. Yeah. And then in the second, at the 521 mark for Nashville, Gustav Nyquist scores his first of the playoffs, assisted by O'Reilly, his first. Then scoring in the third is Phil Forsberg with his second, with an assist from Roman Yossi, his second, and Ryan McDonough, his first. Uh, that was at 12 seconds into the third. Um, then Brock Besser scores at the 17th, 11 mark with his third with an assist from Elias Lindholm, his first, and JT Miller, his fourth. Then Brock Besser scores again, his fourth, and the hat trick with an assist from JT Miller, his fifth, and Elias Pedersen, his second. Then Elias, Pe Elias Lindholm scores his second with an assist from Connor Garland and Dakota Joshua. Boo. I'm not a fan of Dakota Joshua. I don't care. You can hate me all you want to call me biased. I don't care. That was a dirty hit, and Vancouver fans are saying it was Statsny's fault. It was not. His numbers were showing. Um, JT Miller was the third star with three assists. Brock Besser, second star with two, three, with a hat trick. And Elias Lindholm was the game winning goal and an assist. In net for the Predators was UC Soros. If my computer would decide to work today, it would be nice. Um, he stopped 16 of 20 with an 80% save percentage. This has not been a good playoffs for him. Uh, in net for the Canucks is uh, Arthur Silvas. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Silvos. Um, he stopped 27 of 30 with a 90% save percentage. Um, they can't beat the backup. They can't beat the starter. They can't beat the third string. I think they just can't beat Vancouver. That's just my opinion. I think Vancouver's got too much firepower on the front end. Um, Nashville just doesn't have that right now. Um, Nashville goes down 3-1 in the series. The next game is... The 30th. On Tuesday. My availability on that will depend on my dental appointment tomorrow. Well, I've got teeth pulled on. <laughs> no. That could do me no good. 
but I do have a broken tooth, so I'd much rather get that taken care of. It hurts. Um, I I do think the thing that's going to stick out to me in this series is the empty net miss from Sisson. Yeah. I, that 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 is just unacceptable. I'm not saying it's all his fault. It's not like he had a clear path. There were two guys in front of him. You know, but I I uh, if, if the shots out there, take it into the fucking corner. You know. Yeah. Block out. If the shot's not there, drop it back to a D man, something. Heck, bank it off the boards. Shoot, send it back to your goalie for all we care. Right. Let Sorrow shoot it. Nobody'd see it coming. <laughs> you know, it's it's just one of those oof moments. Oh. Um, I, I, I'm I happy to be in the playoffs, but this is not the show we won. Right. Um, when it's done, it's done, obviously. Um, the Admirals start on Thursday. Uh, the second. Yeah, I believe so. So they start on Thursday and they play Thursday and Sunday. Um... That being said, I, I I just don't see them with them going back having a good chance, especially since there's talks Markstrom could be back, and with all the injuries and banged up things, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so um, I I'm just curious to that. Um. What's your thoughts on on this series so far? Like, um, I mean, it's been a tough series. This game, it, it's a hard one. I mean, yeah, the that was just heartbreak when it went off the post and uh, had the chance to put it away right there, and for it to just take the turn it did it. Uh, it's going to be a tough mentality going into the next game. I mean, I just don't see where it it's you know, it, it, right now it was like the box. Yeah. Like, it's just like they're we know Yossi's hurting. We know Forsberg's hurting. We know Saros is hurting. They're just giving it everything they got because you have to want it. Yeah. And with them out, without them on the ice, that's not their best option to win. Right. So I, 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 I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, but there's real no real viable option here to replace them in Milwaukee either. I'm not saying that, like, there can't be in the future, but, what, outside of Camel, maybe? Yeah. As far as scoring goes, Statsny was already up there, so there's your defender, and he's hurt. You know, um, we were going to do a show the other day, but that Brewer game went way too long. Just yeah. to apologize, this is what we went for. There is an Admiral's logo up here <laughs> and um it was a salute to hockey night it was a great tribute to hockey uh great for the city of milwaukee for the game of hockey uh helped grow the sport so many people got to see got their eyes on the admirals for the first time 
um, 32,000 people to be exact, you know, um, just to talk about what the Ambrose have been doing to promote in the city, just to, to add on to like, you know, it's not about just this year. There's years to come. I mean, we're, I've been a fan my, my whole life of the Brewers and they ain't won nothing, <laughs> you know? Um, the Preds got there. They're the closest team I have to winning a championship. I can't say that because the Waves have won one, but they're not a major, major league. You know, they're not the ML, MLSL, but I mean, I do like the Nashville SC, so I guess that counts because didn't they win one? I think so. Like their first year in, I think they won it. Which is impressive. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm just saying, you know, I don't see a chance. I don't see a reason why we can't win one. I just don't see a place where Nashville does. Um, especially if the Admirals get healthy and if Statsny does get better between now and the end of whenever our run is. Right. Not exactly. A necessary need. Parsonen would be coming back. So that would help the Admirals. I'm not saying that I want Nashville eliminated, but your best chance at a cup is Milwaukee. And I'm saying that, I was going to say that going into the playoffs, but, you know, Nashville had a hot run going in, and, and I think they just fizzled out. Now yeah. They need to learn how to sustain it, and guess what? You can't do that without this experience. Oh, without experience and all the injuries, too. I mean, it didn't help. They're riddled with injuries right before the playoffs. And yeah. now in the playoffs. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't help that, you know, uh, that that at this point, it, it almost seems like they're doomed. Yeah. Bad puck luck. You know, it's just like we lucked our way in. And, and unfortunately... You know, sometimes you'd rather miss, but, you know, I don't totally like Dallas to keep this ser their series going as long as they can. Please, for the love of God, at least let us get through Texas here in Milwaukee. Because okay. uh, I don't want to be so seeing – I don't mind Bork, but Stankoven is a beast over there. And he tore up the AHL all year. Um, not saying the Admirals can't neutralize, but definitely a player to watch in the series if he returns. Yes, and that's all based on on what happens with Dallas now. Looking at the series, um, every series except for, I believe. Okay, so Dallas and Edmonton are the only ones that have not played for five games. And are they playing right now? Oh, wait, they play tomorrow. And Edmonton plays tonight. Yep. Um, looks like the Rangers are going to eliminate Washington. And Colorado's up 3-1. If Vancouver moves up, or if uh, Vegas and Vancouver and Edmonton and New York move on. I probably the 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 fan inside of me won't watch. I won't care. The hockey fan in me won't care. No, they all have. Every team in the playoffs has a higher payroll than us. It's funny. Yeah. Um, and and I know that some people scoff will scoff at me for it. I don't care. But if you look at at what's going to happen, I mean, Nashville has six million in open cap. 
They have a first, three seconds, two thirds, three fourths, no fifth, six or seven. So all our draft picks are in the first four rounds. Um, they've got to pay Zucker. They've got to pay Bolivier. They've got to pay Carson. And they've got to pay Jared Anderson, Dolan, and Kiefer Sherwood. Um, there are some where their contracts have been extended, uh, Novak and, and such. Uh, Fabro has an extension. Carrier and Barry are off Barry's contract coming off $4.5 million. I doubt they resign him. If he hasn't played, he'd be a welcomed addition to their defense. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, uh, Lankin and he's gone. That's another two million off the books. So the the friends looking at it from this perspective right now, they have projecting cap space of of nineteen million. Um, dead cap hit is eleven, so that would put him at uh, sixty-eight million four hundred and four thousand one hundred and ninety-nine. Um. They're only retaining one contract. It's two hundred uh, eighty-two thousand, and I believe that to be back home. No, they're they're retaining part of Johansson's as well. <laughs> um, at what point do you look at it and go, "Have any of these guys really produced to a level where they're worth bringing back?" Yeah. The Zucker is probably the only one I would bring back. As long as it's reasonable. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Uh, what is it? The, it's the lottery draft is the seventh. I'll be watching that. Uh, yeah. High Rated chance is the uh, is the Sharks. Uh, the Blackhawks are number two. You don't rule out Utah at number seven. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't either. Um, you know, I I just don't know how far to. How far to feel about that? Also, I would like to put my well wishes to, um, as I am an avid uh, put my well wishes out to uh, Bubba Wallace, William Byron, and Christopher Bell of. Uh, Uh, as they were in an offer, uh, in a horrible wreck at Dover in NASCAR, and all three of them were rushed to in the track staff. Two of them were rushed to the hospital as well. As I would like to add, that uh, one player today in the NHL um, took a puck to the face area. Um, not in our game. Was that in the Winnipeg, Colorado game? Correct. Um, and he was rushed to the hospital. Um, no update was given. Uh, I, 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 I know that the playoffs are tough, but injuring guys just to win is not cool. And one of the things I have seen a lot of these playoffs is, is, is that.
Yeah, this isn't the dirty 90s. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you can't go slashing guys and hitting guys when the numbers are showing and hitting guys in the head. It's just, you know, I, I'm I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of of a lot of it. And I know that McCarran being shoved in to dismiss was just not liked by Vancouver fans, but he would shove. Where's he going? He's got a guy on him on his back shoving him, and your goalie's right there. Where are you going? He's behind the net. He should have been called off with that coming. You know? Yeah. Somebody on the D side should have been warning him. Yeah, they got a power play out of it, and it gave him a goal. Which I do believe they won that game too. I I just don't see where this is beneficial to anyone. This is bad for the game. Um, I don't think, like I said, I don't think the I I if this series goes seven, I would be shocked. Yeah. Well, six, I wouldn't be, but if it goes seven, I would be shocked. I don't remember, but has Nashville ever come back from a 3-1 deficit in franchise history? No. Okay. They also have uh, all their power. They have no, none, zero power play wins. None. Vancouver has four. They got to get that power play going. Yeah. The power, uh, even if it's just you go one to one, like one, like I wouldn't. And, and this is the thing: if you went one for one and, and lost, I wouldn't be mad. Right. But this, this O oh, for what was it yesterday or the game on the six O oh, for five? Right. You know the game before that they were O oh, for four. The game before that they were O oh, for three. So you know that's that's. That's difficult on a fan base. So, um, we'll be back Tuesday. To what extent, we do not know. But we will see you then. Thank you all for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by Hockey Locker. I'm Daniel Kimmel. Over there, it's John Lewandowski signing off. See you guys on Tuesday.